So today we're gonna get started with the pore professional primer from Benefit. I love this primer. It blurs out all the nasty pores that I have. It's disgusting. Like I only have a test size bottle, but I've had it for a good couple of months. And if you see me looking off to the side right here, I just have a mirror because you know the iPhone 6S camera is not good. And yeah, we're just gonna get started right in today because y'all know I don't have the skill, oh my gosh, the skill, the time, or the money to make a nice intro for a YouTube channel, especially for my first video. And I know the lighting is off already. It's because it's nasty outside and it's raining and we're right next to my window. So you might hear cars honking, people screaming. We're just going to play it by ear. Oh my. I've launched this stuff out so many times. A lot of people like think that you shouldn't use your hands for this. I really don't care. Like people are like, oh my God, you need to use a beauty blender. Oh my god, you need to give me $60 so I can get one. Salt. I know. <sighs> so my next step is to go in with the Born This Way foundation in the shade Pearl. And I know the tip is disgusting on this because I got it months ago and I just started using it the other day. But I found it in my makeup bin upside down. Yeah upside down. That's how I treat my makeup. So we're just going in. I know it's splotchy because this beauty blender is not very good because I got it at Rite Aid for like six dollars. Yeah. I don't know how I'm supposed to talk in these videos. Am I just supposed to rant? Who knows? And no, I will not be blending past my hat right now because my hair is ratchet. But I'm getting it redone soon. Soon, soon. As I'm just like awkwardly sitting here beating my face, let me know in the comments what I should do because obviously this was not planned out very well. Also, I just found out the other day that I need to make time for getting ready and not give myself five minutes and throw on makeup so it actually looks good. It takes me about maybe an hour and a half to finish everything because I have to shave, prime, moisturize, and then start. And I don't know. That might take you guys like five minutes, but apparently not for me. Uh, does anybody have like compound skin because me too and I hate it because right up here is all oily and right down my nose is oily but on the sides of my nose and all right here is just dry as a Sahara desert gotta blend those neck that neck Okay, we're all done with foundation. So our next step right now is to go in with the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in the Maybelline London um, Color Corrector Pen. This is for my beard area and my dark circles under my eyes because y'all know I'm not getting any sleep whatsoever. I am AP World, worst class ever. Not good. Yeah, we have to write some, like, dumb essay about stuff that I don't care about. Like the Black Plague. I'm not gonna get affected by it. It's gone. It's long gone, sis. I, I like, put concealer everywhere. I'm terrible. Because my entire face just needs to be concealed. 
How you think I look? Good. I love this concealer. It's actually like the third concealer that I've ever used. I just like fell in love with it because the formula is so nice and it just works with my skin. Like people are like out there using Shape Tape concealer. I've never used that, but I was, I would assume that I would like it. I just don't have time or money to go and get that shit. Uh. <laughs> So off camera, I just brushed my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And now, I was going to use the other side, but I might have dropped it on my vent and broke it off. So I don't have any. So we're just going to go in with a dark eyeshadow from the Day Slayer Morphe 15D, I believe it is. And we're going to use the darkest shade in there called Sweet. And I like using this first just to sharpen everything in my brows because my brows are already full and we just need that snap shaped so a little bit here as you can tell i'm already outside the boundaries of my eyebrow i really rely on that concealer afterwards just so you know just so you're not thinking oh my god i should not be watching this he does not know how to do his brows. You're right about one of those things. You should be watching this. But, you, I don't know how to do my brows. No good. <laughs> so, some beauty gurus will, like, do one eyebrow. And then do another off camera. And it just makes me mad because, like, I'm like... What? What are you doing? Might as well show the whole process of making them sisters. Oh god, I just sniffled. Gross. The one day that I'm trying to film, I get the common cold. So now is my favorite one of my favorite parts of doing makeup, to carve the brows. I'm just using this Ecology B4Y brush to carve out my brows, it's just a flat brush. And then that same concealer that I've been using this entire time, which is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in the shade Light Medium, because you know a sister is pale. I literally like trace out the shape of my eyebrows like I don't I don't try to do anything fancy except this part right here I just put a little bit concealer in here and then carve out the end again and then I blend it just so we can get that gradient effect in there Are they good, yeah? I'm gonna do the same to the other side. I haven't tweezed or plucked my eyebrows in a long time. I'm glad this isn't a good camera. And I'm glad you can't see all of this. I'm putting a lot of concealer right here just because that's where most of my little hairs are. So I'm gonna try to cover that out. Brows are a process. Brows are a good thing to know how to do, but they take time. And I, most of you are from my Instagram page, Cut Crease Contour. If you're not, go follow, link will be in the description. But you guys saw my first post on there. Those brows were bad. That's, that's the least I can say about them. Huh. 
How about now? How about now? <laughs> so, off camera, um, my color corrector under my eye was not blended all the way, so I just went into my concealer and blended that a little bit more. And then earlier, I started talking about my Instagram, and most of you are probably already following my Instagram because, you know, I'm not famous yet. And so just make sure to go follow that. It's cut underscore crease underscore contour. And I'm just going to be posting my sneak peeks when my videos are going up and stuff like that. So our next step is bronzer. And some of you are actually going to hate me for this because I've already gotten dragged about it. But I don't use actual bronzer. Like, I have bronzer, and I've used it in the past. I just, I hate it so much. I hate how it's so monotone. I hate how it always has, like, hot or warm undertones, and I can never find the right one. So, I'm gonna go in with my Jackie Hill palette. Shout out to Jacqueline Hill. Um, and use these four top shades up here where, like, it's smeared, you can tell. And those shades are, what are they? They're Silk Cream, MFEO, Pooter, and Pukey. Pukey is just a cute color that I use all the time, too. So, I'm just going in right here, very lightly, gonna tap off. And then we're gonna go in, in bronze. Like, we love a bronze sister, because we want it to be summer. And we want school to be over. I bronze so much, it's like excessively bronze. And I get flack for it all the time. But contour to the gods. Like, contour, contour. <sighs> Obviously, I have a double chin, so let's get rid of that. Uh... <laughs> and yes, I can tell the contour is really heavy right now, but trust me, sister, I got away. I know my ways. I know my techniques. Now, what we're gonna go in, Ready Again, our Ready Set Gorgeous by CoverGirl um, concealer, and we're just gonna go in there and carve it out. Now, a lot of people don't like this because contour is supposed to be natural. I just love doing it because I see so many drag queens do it, and I see so many makeup artists do it. Obviously, I'm gonna blend this out, but this is, like, the point of it. This is what drag queens do. They watch a lot of them, so. And we're just gonna blend it out with that. And I know a lot of you are probably wondering, why don't you just, like, use less contour? Because I don't want to. You can go do a different channel that uses less contour. We're gonna blend that line. And it really adds the highlight right here. Blend it out more. This is just the same brush that I was using for my bronzer. If you were wondering what just happened, I dropped my brush, but I got it again. So, I don't have very many brushes. So I like squeeze this brush right here and tap into those same four shades. And then that's how I contour my nose. It's like, it's a good way, but there's obviously way better ways to do it so it's a lot cleaner and nicer really my entire like rule for makeup is just to pack it and cake it on and then fix it with concealer might as well so now concealer again you just go in right here And now I only do that because I don't have a brush to, like, make it a sharp contour. And if I did, if you do, like, don't do this because this is excessive and not necessary to do it if you do want. I just want a pinched nose because you know I'm looking like Squidward out here right now. How do I look? So off camera, I just bronze my forehead because I'm not taking this off. And our next step is highlight. Ooh. 
yes, I love highlight. I love highlight. Normally, I would use my Too Faced Candlelight Highlighter Glow, but that's out. And right now, obviously, again, I'm going to use my Jackie Hill palette and then go in with the shade Beam. And that's like the brow highlight, but I really use it for everything. So, obviously, you're going to start off with a brow highlight, get that natural brow. And I will be doing this again after I finish my eyeshadow. Sorry again for the lightning. It sucks. And then just gonna... Ooh, girl. Whoo, she's glowing. Really? I just pack it on there. And then if it's too bronzy, or if it's too glowy, guess what I'ma use? My concealer. Because that's like... Isn't concealer used to conceal things? Like... That's what I use it for. That's what it's meant for. To fix your mistakes. I'm just going in literally everywhere so I look like a glazed donut. Got a forehead bean. So I'm like, pow. What you looking at? Ho. While I'm doing this, there's going to be like a four, four total people watching this, but like, go comment like your favorite beauty trends. Go comment anything you want. Don't let me ruin your dreams. Comment what you want. Except hate comments, because that's rude. Why is this lighting doing this to me right now? I don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, before we start getting in with the eyeshadow, I just want to apologize for the lighting again. It's because it's raining right now, and it's gloomy, and there's cars going by, and it's, like, reflecting off the highlights, so it's like, pow! Because I use a lot. Okay, let's get started. So, first, I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette, obviously, in the shade In Light. And that's going to be my first shade. I'm so excited we get to eyeshadow now because I have some beef with the makeup community. How beauty gurus, I, like I get it's to save time, but like I'm here to entertain and put on a show. So might as well like do both eyes because I hate when they do one eye and then they just go in with another eye because I don't have four brushes. I have one. Maybe two, because this has a little end one that I use for the... Like, why? I hate when they do that so much. It triggers me. So we're just putting that all over the lid. And, like, everywhere, because I love this one. So we're going to start off with the shade. It's a part of the bronzer shade. Silk Cream. Girl. Why are you doing this to me right now? And really because it's going to be like a half cut crease. Like you don't have to care about it getting on the inner corner lid. Yeah. Right now we're going to go in with this like macaroni shade creamsicle. It's ugly, but like, it's cute. Do you see this right here? It's like orange, it's like cheese, and not toe cheese because that's nasty. Now we're just putting it on the outside, getting it closer to the inner V. Here, I'll get closer. Right here, all in there. I'm gonna go in here too, get it in there. Just concentrating it more and more as it gets to the lid. I'm really gonna like, well, I guess we're gonna pack it in there now because I just shoved it in my eyeball. 
Makeup is all about fluid, sis. Just kidding, it's not about that. It's about feeling confident in what you put on your face. So now I'm gonna go into the Morphe palette again. This is the 15D Day Slayer. Um, and we're gonna use the shade in the crease. It's the orange one right here. You can see that I almost hit pan on it because I use it so often. And we're just gonna blend these two shades together so we can get a nice yellow to orange effect. And I'm not, like, getting ready for anything either, so I'm just gonna walk around my house wearing makeup. Who am I kidding? I'm probably just gonna take this off right after I film. Okay. So, now we're gonna go back into the Jaclyn Hill palette once again, and we're gonna use this shade, I forgot what it was called. Hunts. It's called Hunts. It's like a dark red. It's this one right here. And we're gonna lightly dot this on because we're only looking for a hint of it on the outer corner. I hate when, why is the light doing that? I'm so confused. Maybe I should just like keep my hand up here. Hmm. The real question is right now, why is my voice starting to sound gross? Like. I'm not even talking that much. So you're gonna start getting like this nice yellow to orange to red to like dark maroon effect when it's like, I love this one. I love warm tones. I hate. Oh my god. I hate working with blue and green eyeshadow. Because whenever a palette comes out with blue or green eyeshadow, they make it so pigmented. Yeah, pigment pigmentation is so good. But, like, I don't want green or blue eyeshadow anywhere because they get money so fast. Hate it. So, this might be the weird part because I don't have like Fix Plus. I don't wet my brushes with that stuff. I use this bitch. And no, I'm not flipping you off. I'm using my finger. And so I like to go in with this. It's the one next to the maroon shade. It's really shiny. It's firework. Because you all know I'm about that firework. And I just use my finger to get in there with this shade because then it's super super pigmented it looks like a liquid eyeshadow and you can get that shimmer this is why I'm saying like it's like a cut crease thing because I'm not really cutting it but I am layering something on the lid Okay, we had a mishap. I accidentally, like, brushed my other finger on here when I, like, pointed at the shadow. I got some on my finger and I pointed it right there. Not good, but you know how I do. I just use my concealer. So you can see we're starting to get, like, really, really dark and warm. Now, I love doing this because I really don't see a whole lot of, like, makeup artists do this. I layer my shimmer shades. So now we're going to go in with the 15D palette and it's the shade Glow. It's a shimmer, shimmery orange shade right there and we're gonna use the same finger just so it transitions well. And we're just gonna go over this again. So it's like an orange red pop kind of color, you know? And like, I just wanted to get started about the boys wearing makeup thing. Like, honestly, I get more hype wearing makeup than anything else. Like, I'm a cheerleader. I'm a pretty good student. And, like, but really, most people, like, look at me and they're like, he does makeup. And I'm like, I really don't wear makeup that often. But people just know that I do makeup. 
And like people that I don't even talk to either, they're like, I love your makeup, like I love what you do. And I'm like, I don't think I've ever talked to you before. Like, but thank you, but yeah. And so I like to cut out the sides of my eyeshadow. You're probably like screeching right now if you know anything about makeup. You're like, oh my god, no, eyeshadow needs to be blended. Just watch. I cut it out. Oh, that's in my hair, but it's okay. I cut out both sides. Okay, so now it's like sharp. And now I'm gonna go in with the slightest bit of the shade Sweet. That's the same, that's the same um, shade that I use for my eyebrows. And if you watch James Charles, he makes it like clear, like the slightest bit, girl. And we're just gonna go in with this right here. That's it, that's all I need right now. And now we're just gonna blend it and then blend it out and blend it in here. And then blend it all around. This side gets black. This side gets black. That side gets black. This side gets black. Under here gets black. Girl, we're just blending it to the community. Now, I'm not going to do eyeliner for this either. Because one, I'm not going to eyeliner. I just need more practice. But I'm not good. I'm not good. That's okay. So I'm just gonna clean this off a little bit and then grab my Jaclyn Hill palette. As you know, girl, this is probably predictable right now. You could be like, what is he about to use? I'm, a, I'm either gonna pick concealer or the Jaclyn Hill palette. Yeah. So we're gonna go in again with this shade. It's like the macaroni shade. I already forgot the name of it. Creamsicle, that's what it's called. And we're gonna go right here. Because that's the color of the V right here. And we're going to go in on the under eye. And try to blend it in with like the black. Sharp, bitch. This can cut you right now. I don't know if you can see it as well as I can. Because of the lighting, again. But it's cute. It's real cute. Just gonna buffer at the edges. Make sure that's sharp and clean with that same creamsicle shade that's already on your brush. And now what are we gonna do? Oh yeah. We're gonna use the in the crease on the I don't know what this is called, but it's like the inner eye and under eye me. And we're just going to do that right there. So it's nice and good, girl. So it's all around. And then, like I said again, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I just like layering eyeshadows a lot. So we're going to go back in with this beam. I got it right. It's beam. And we're just going to retouch this brow highlight. And we're gonna retouch this. We're gonna retouch the inner corner. So this girl is blinding. Woo! Girl! Okay, so I'm not gonna use fake eyelashes today. I'm just gonna go in with my Super Curler 24 Hour by Rimmel. London. It's purple. It's big. It makes my eyelashes go flying. We're just gonna do this a little bit. And I swear to God, the only reason that I use mascara is because powder gets on my eyelashes. And I, like, I don't want to, like, wipe them off just in case the eyeshadow comes off. But I have really long eyelashes. Not to, like... What? So we just had a little bit of a mishap happen. I got mascara on the under my eye because I blinked too hard because I was talking to y'all. It's really your fault. It's not my fault. Because I was talking to you. And normally I don't talk when I do my makeup. So that's why. Don't blame me. 
hurts you. It's not my eyelashes. Because they're nice. Okay, guys, I am done with my makeup. It's good. It's bronze. It's highlighted. It's full coverage. It's nice. It's cut. It's sharp. It's snatched. But I know this is a long video, and I know it's my first video, so the editing and the lighting and everything else might not be as good. Just bear with me until I get there. But overall, thank you guys so much. Go follow my Instagram and go follow Lauren's Instagram. Both of the usernames and links to the Instagram will be in the description. Just make sure to share the video, like it. I will be replying to comments because there's going to be like three, maybe. But thank you guys for watching. Oh, girl.